Hey guys, Harley from Vertmill. Easy click. I've sent these for the purpose of a review. The disposable pods, 18 milligram. We're going to do a quick review. I'm not going to do the normal layout. I'm just going to bang straight through the, the features and specs, what they claim, and what they do. Check it out, guys. So, I've been using these now. I've used one of each flavour. And they're quite impressive. They are designed purely for people trying to quit smoking. So you're not going to get a lot of vapour. You're not going to get a lot of flavour. Just a nice subtle hit of flavour with a decent amount of vapour. I do add that there is water in these as well. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the medical advice for that is. But I always tell people we, that have got asthma to just be a bit more careful when it's got water in. Because I know some people, especially with bad asthma, it can cause a bit of difficulty breathing. So ePuffer, which are American based, we've also got headquarters in the UK and Canada, make a lot of claims about these things. So get ready for the big list guys. Cost less than smoking tobacco. Tobacco flavour tastes like tobacco, but with no smoke or tobacco. No carbon monoxide, no combustion, no tar. Virtually odourless, no clinging smells in home or car or clothes. Replicates behavioural and physical traits of smoking. Satisfies nicotine cravings. Easy to use, doesn't need ignition, matches or a lighter. Won't stain your teeth, won't damage your skin. No more embarrassment or guilt. Unlike me, it's not offensive to others. So there's a lot of promises there, all a little bit vague I think. The, the, it does also mention on the website that these are unflammable, non-flammable, which I think is a weird thing to keep mentioning, but that's what it says, and my hands at fire, so we're all good. Some of the flavours, what do the flavours taste like? The tobacco one tastes like tobacco. It's called premium tobacco, and it actually does taste like premium tobacco. You're talking cigar or tobacco. In the, you know some uh, fags have got the fragrancy taste of the tobacco? Pretty much like that, so that's what you're talking. The mango one is the type of mango I don't like, where it's pure mango, it's a bit soft and sweet in flavour. Not my kind of thing, but I know the fact there's a lot of people that do like that. And then the cool menthol. The cool menthol in my eyes is a bit too much like mint than it is menthol. But I like mint, so we're all good. It's also very refreshing. So it comes in two different packs. You've got the variety pack, which has got tobacco, menthol, mango. You've also got the tobacco pack. That contains free tobacco. I do think there's a big downside in these guys, you can't buy them singly or not, but I found you can if you can, it's because someone's opened the packet and selling them singly. And I think that's a little bit of an off put in my eyes, the entire point is if you forgot your vape, so why would you want to buy three? I'm not sure. But these are really good for people that want to experience it. I found it a little bit harsh, they're based in 18mg Nick Salts, so it's not that, it's not the PGVG because it's a very little amount of vapour, so it's probably the water, but like I said that's not really harmful. So it just gives you that extra bit of fruit here. Let's talk about it a little bit more. 78 by 19 by 10 mil. It weighs in at a massively heavy 15 grams. E-liquid capacity is 1.2 milliliters. It's got a whopping 280 milliamp hour battery, which I think is quite decent for a disposable pod. It's got a resistance of 2.7 ohms. So that's all well and good, what's the actual lifespan? Well, e-puffers claim that it's 300 maximum puffs. And that's all well and good, but that's not quite what I found. Because they use that terminology up to again, I'm very sceptical, and I got my clicker out. The first part I tried was the mango, and shamefully that got nowhere near 300, that got 184 puffs. That is bad. So then I got out of the menthol, started on that one, click, 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 all the way up to 362. Now that's pretty impressive, but it's also a little bit worrying, they said maximum 300. I didn't notice any neg negativity after 300, but about 280 the flavour started to go and about 340 the vapour started to go but it was still emitting vapour at 361 so ideally you're talking anywhere between 5 and 12 hours use for me which I think is a bit vague and this is why I do look out because I'd much rather if a company said up to 300 they should at least tell you what you should expect but obviously if they do that in my eyes it's a get out because then if you have 10 puffs they can still say well we said up to 300 I think it's a bit of a cop out, but that's down to you. Pros and cons. It does replicate a fag pretty well. It's got some decent flavour in these little beasts. I don't like any of the flavours really, apart from the cool menthol. But I know people that will like them. And if you like tobacco, it's a really good tobacco flavour. If you like the proper mango taste, it's a really good mango taste. If you like minty menthol, it's a really good minty menthol taste. High nicotine. Alright, if you're in America, you're probably saying 50 milligrams high. But in the UK, we're TPD compliant, along with Europe. So we've only got an 18 milligram maximum, 
So it's high nicotine for us. Small and white, lightweight, with a very discreet vapor production. And with the cons, it's disposable. We don't like that really in this day and age, but they do serve a purpose, and I'm not going to go on this ego bandwagon. I do think disposable things have a purpose. As long as they're not used constantly. It's quite unpredictable in regards to puff consistency. Then again, I could have just got one that were off. You know, the, the mango might have just fired out, lose something. You know, I might have broke it. I doubt it. But we've got to consider it. And they're not available to buy. Like I said, they're not available to buy individually. And I think that's a bit rubbish. But there you go. So what does Harley think? Well, I'll tell that what. Harley thinks they're quite decent. I personally wouldn't buy one on a night out. Unless I were desperate for some nicotine, which is unlikely. But if you're a smoker and you want to try vaping, these are quite possibly a good cheap way to try it without having to jump in with all the overheads. And I suppose if you're waiting for an airport or something like that, or, you want, or you've got a sub on pod but you think, do you know what, I'm at this really busy meeting, I want to be able to puff my e-cig with everyone else without making a spectacle of myself, these are probably alright as well. Am I going to buy any more? Not really, they're not for me. Right guys, so that's the review. Really quick, really short to a point. I hope you enjoyed it. I have now still got two tobacco flavours left. So I'm going to send them out to the UK. For pretty much the first time ever I'm going to pay a postage. There's two of them. So the first two people to comment with the words of I want one, please Harley, gets one. I'll pay a postage, UK only I'm afraid guys, I'm not faffing about postage internationally for these little things that weigh 15 grams. So you know what to do guys, comment below, don't forget to make sure you're over 18, terms and conditions are below anyway, I'm not going to tell you how to enter below because I told you a minute ago. Thanks for watching guys, stick around for my Snow Wolf review on Tuesday, and the most important thing guys, is don't forget, stay cloudy!